So apparently welcome to part two of uh, my video guide since my computer froze the first time. And this is going to cover uh, watching and taking notes on general strategy and meter usage. And then after that, we will look at specific spacings on the next watch through and their decision making. So let's get started. Let's back this up. Okay. So let's reboot this as the video. One minute, 37 seconds. So I can reload this for the next watch through. So this is watch through number three for general strategy. We're only going to watch the first couple matches again. So immediately he's trying to get in and contest Chun Li while she has no meter. So he's trying to get in at all costs to start his Oki. So he's going for set play every time. Every time he gets a knockdown, he's going for set play. He's showing zero respect to his opponent. And he's making his opponent guess every time. Especially while she has no meter. So he's trying to keep him cornered now. Now after he has full meter, he's not activating in full screen. He waits until he whiffs a button before he activates. Set play. So he, he had a very simple game plan. I'm going to bash my head against your your fist until I get in. And then I'm going to make you guess when I get my knockdown. Which is a very dangerous strategy. Because when Chun-Li, even though she doesn't have meter, you know she builds meter real fast off of buttons. He whiffed his, his standing medium punches too, f too uh, slow. So whenever he's in the corner, as soon as Chun Li gives him space, he's trying to jump parry out. He was guard jumping every time, pretty much, um, and the times that he didn't guard jump is when he got thrown. He doesn't want to activate when he's not close to Chun-Li. Because he doesn't want to have to chase her if he can help it. So he was far behind, so he had to essentially get a knockdown before he could successfully build meter. So he had to take a risk there. So again, his goal right from the beginning is see what she does and then jump in. And then react to the jump in. Or react to what she does with the jump. He tried to guard jump after the uh, card JB didn't kick a little too late, and he got tagged. Again, 
Yeah, uh, Chun has no meter, so he's just going in. He could have activated there. Very greedy. Again, obviously, his goal is to keep him uh, cornered. And he's, he's had plenty of opportunities to activate, but he didn't want to activate for some reason until he was below a certain point. Because now he's like one set play away from losing. So that time, as soon as he saw that Chun-Li was not standing at a way that he could contest his activation, it didn't matter. And this is fine for Yun, because Chun-Li just used all of her meter, and he's very close. Mist of Red Parry. Drops his combo. Catches him. So watch two more games, and then we'll start off the fourth watch through, which is for spacing, neutral, and punishes. And then I don't see anything specific to the matchup that I want to cover, so we're not going to do the fifth watch through. So the fourth watch through is more of what I look for when I'm doing my like masterclass videos and stuff. So. Set play immediately st stays in in the pocket, which is questionable. He doesn't have meter, so he can activate for free. He's forcing Chen into the corner with his jumps, and Pearl Rice is just running away. Wakes up with lightning legs. Interesting choice. Messes up his combo again. Set play. Building meter when he has very little that he needs. She tried to uh, whiff punish a light kick, dive kick, and got punished for it. So. We're going to just continue where we're at now and go through the spacing and neutral decisions from here. So I'm not going to do like a start from the beginning just because it doesn't really make sense. So from now on, in this point, we're going to be looking at the neutral, the decision making, and the punishes of their choices. So at the beginning, Pearl Rice has shown that he's already looking to contest Yun jumping in by pressing buttons. He's done it two games, and or at least two rounds. So he opts for a jump heavy punch because Chun-Li, even though she gets a little bit of damage, it's still not that risky because Chun-Li is really far away after the heavy punch. She has to dash in if she wants to get in. So he immediately whiffs crouching medium kick because he knows it's, it's free. Because as you can see here, Nishikawa is jumping forward at his opponent because his opponent has no meter. So his goal is to take damage while she has no meter and he, she doesn't have a threat of, you know, getting him to the corner really. Because she has to parry and then back throw in order to get him to the corner right now. And it's still not going to be enough to put him there. And she needs two throws essentially to get him cornered. He can make reads obviously and, you know, air to air Yun afterward, but it's not something that it seems like he's worried about. So, I want to take a look at that again. So, he whiffs a super late jump heavy kick right above the ground, and then goes for throw. Lock up Zempo. 
So in neutral, he's trying to make her make decisions. And now obviously, you know, he got his Oki. He's going to get a set play now. So he dashes up and immediately goes for a uh, setup. He didn't expect her to get hit by the stand medium punch. He just wanted to do the medium punch shoulder. And it's a lot more telegraphed off of a crouching medium kick. So that's why a lot of Yuns in Japan will use like crouching light kick, light kick delay or crouching light kick option parry into shoulder or standing medium punch into shoulder. Alright, so he gets out of the situation by doing forward heavy kick when he thinks he's going to Zempo. And now he's just keeping him in the corner. And now he's going back to neutral. And he baits Chun-Li into moving forward by dashing back, or jumping back. Sorry, let, let's see if that's uh, dashing back or jumping back. Neutral jump, jump back, regular jump. Then Chun-Li is going to whiff a button and then immediately dash forward because Yun has already built space and she needs to chase him down while she's close to getting meter. Yun doesn't have close to meter. He has like 50%. So now his goal, because she's moving in, is to make her pay for her movement. So he opted for super jump with jump medium kick instead of regular jump. And if he had regular jump, it would have worked. Or at least given her the opportunity to possibly parry. But because he went over her, he got hit and now he's one hit away from being supered. Now he jumps backwards just to get out of the back fierce or the crouching medium kick thing. So, let's watch that again. Gets hit. Jumps out of the set play, because the only thing that she can do is back fierce. Um, and, or, you know, stand fierce at this point. He will probably jump back far enough that either neither of them will hit. She'll be in recovery and he can jump forward. And she'll have to uh, either walk back or jump air to air. And he's close enough to meet her that if he, she presses a button at this point, as he jumps at her after this, that he can jump in like uh, medium kick, stand like kick, dash punch, and get enough meter for activation. So it's a very high risk for Chun-Li. He, again, whiffs. Chun-Li dashes in. He catches her dash with a crouching medium kick into dash punch. That rewind this a little bit. So he jumps back, whiffs. She goes for throw, or I guess Kara throw, and uh, he just tags her. Gets a knockdown because she thinks that he's going to start with standing heavy punch because he's so far away. And he's actually just out of range of crouching medium kick. So the sweep catches her off guard and it goes for a hard knockdown. He does a medium kick, dive kick in order to get in front of her. And then he's going to do a standing heavy punch to keep her in block stun, do two crouching shorts, and then he's going to jump. The reason why he jumps here is because it's unsafe to go for a Oki mix-up against Chun-Li after two crouch shorts because her crouching jab will hit the next button that you try to press. Even though you're plus 13, you have to walk forward in order to get your next attack. Um, so you can only walk forward parry, so you'd have to walk forward down parry, and it's still risky because she can forward fierce as well, or forward roundhouse. Um, and if you're not careful, you may get hit by that. So he jumps in and does an early jump heavy kick just to get her in block stun and then lands Zempos. Kills. So again, he's neutral jumping now because she has meter and he doesn't want to jump in and give her free damage. He needs to respect her and her choices and choose his spot when to go in. So she whiffs a button so as she whiffs jumping uh, crouching medium kick, that's one of Yun's cues to try and jump in. Now, this is how this matchup becomes very much rock, paper, scissors. Um, if Yun is reacting to her normals correctly and jumping properly, like he's doing, then although this is a very high risk, you are both at very high life. And eating a super from Chun-Li off of a bad decision early is much more beneficial to you than... Um, otherwise. Now, because of that, Chun-Li will probably not use her super, and she'll probably parry back throw um, in order to get you cornered. And that way she can apply pressure, take whittle you down a little bit before she uses her super. She, she He jumps back, 
and gets tagged with a jumping uh, jab. So as she sees that his jumping medium kick whiffs, she knows that he has to make a decision to jump. Because if he doesn't jump, he can get hit by any of her other buttons, and a reset for Yun is still the best choice, being reset by the jab. So he gets reset, and Chun-Li can walk into range where she can Kara throw. Now this is scary, but at this range, her only real choices are back fierce, crouching medium kick, stand medium punch, which goes over Yun, and uh, whatever. So if he is immediately going to guard jump, um, then this is effectively negated. So that's what he does. He gets hit by the crouching medium kick and then jumps out. Because crouching medium kick is negative 8. I believe. Let me check just to be 100% sure. It's either negative 7 or negative 8. And what that means is that because your jump is 3 frames, that you can get out for free. So in mid-screen, if you take a crouching medium kick or a back fierce or a stand fierce um, on block then you can jump out of uh, Chun-Li's pressure. But you also have to be careful not to corner yourself. So crouching forward... I'm sorry, is negative 2. No, crouching forward is negative 2, yeah. So you, you technically can jump because she's negative. I apologize, she's definitely not negative 8. Um, but she's negative 2, so your 3 frame startup move because she's not close enough to you to be able to jab you out of it, she has nothing that will hit you. So he jumps back, immediately whiffs one button to try and get her to move forward, and he thinks that she might dash, so he throws out a forward fierce. Does not get whiff punished, but she continues to walk forward because she wants to walk him down, and then he throws out a um, shoulder, because unless she huddle walks and reacts to the shoulder, the shoulder will hit her. So then he goes for a set play, backs up, gets Kara thrown on wake up, into the corner. And now she does dash lightning legs, and just keeps him cornered, and forces him to make a decision. Now because she has meter, dashing through back into the corner is not a terrible option, because Yun still has to get in, and he, or he has to run away to activate. So he's forced to make a decision here if he wants to try to connect, or if he wants to run away. And she can dash forward if he jumps so that she can try to um, deal with it with a super. And she can also dash forward if he back dashes and super his super. So it's very rock, paper, scissors at this point. So he just sits there and then reacts to the uh, crouching medium kick. She thinks that he's going to dive kick, so she walks forward trying to parry it, and then she gets back thrown. He dashes up, Goes for a set play. Reset. He does standing light kick to let her fall. And then misses his confirm after that. So he does a jump forward um, light kick dive kick after the failure. Let me just rewind this. Okay, so... Uh, Dive kick goes before that. Okay, so he f he fails and then he whiffs crouching light kick and he knows that he can't do anything right. So if he jumps forward here and then he does an early an early jump a uh, light kick dive kick, if she stands, it'll hit her right in the knee, and then it will force her into a situation where she has to block the next hit because it will combo technically. So he gets a free crouching medium punch which is a combo, so she's forced to block it, she would have to red parry, and then she has to make a decision here to either just block or attempt to parry. And because at this range, Yun can do uh, standing forward, he can do crouching medium kick, or he can just, you know, run away, um, it's not really a good choice for Chun-Li to be trying to press buttons here. Although, let me bring up the other frame data for Yun. And crouching strong is plus five. So yeah, that move is really, really good. So there's nothing that Chun-Li can do after crouch strong. Is this Canadian? No. Okay, so he gets hit. Set play. And he just walks up. Hits down because he wants to be at the max range out of his throw range. And then it forces him to jump. 
misses the confirm, hits his rejump after the jumping light kick, or the jumping medium kick that I did not confirm into a sand light kick. Because he was too high. Jump forward dive kick at a weird timing. So let's take a look at that again. So again, he opts to take a risk here by going in because he's very close to meter. And all he needs is one block string in order to get meter. So that's why he makes this decision. Gets his activation. Misses up his combo, gets a knockdown, and then goes for a set play. And does it a little too slow, which is why he gets uh, thrown out of his standing medium kick. Throw, throw. Down parry into crushing medium kick. So he forces her to block, and then he goes for a high-low mix-up, which is why Chun-Li is forced to block there, because uh, the jumping forward should be plus. Or at least zero. So now they both have no lo low life, so again... He's either going to want to run away and build meter, or he's going to want a neutral jump, or just, you know, try to force her to make a decision before he goes in. So he immediately whiffs a light kick dive kick. She doesn't make another decision, so he jump forward and medium kick dive kick. Gets hit out of it, jumps away, builds meter with jump heavy punch, and then jumps back in with a light kick dive kick and gets hit for it. Gets a knockdown, and then he misses his set play. And again, he's doing these jumping medium kicks at weird timings because he just wants to hit her to get close. That's it. He wants to be close enough where he can be just out of throw range, so like it forces Chun-Li to make like a high-low uh, sort of guess. Crouch short, crouch. Or crouch, jab, jab. He immediately... Okay, so after he gets back, back thrown, Chun-Li is just outside of the carrot throw range, so he has to walk forward before he can carrot throw. So this is the best opportunity for Yun to jump, but he can get hit out of it from from guard jump and be reset, which is not very smart, considering he uh, has meter. But if he takes another throw and he goes down to this much life, uh, then super will guaranteed kill him, if it wouldn't already. So he hits him low enough with this dive kick. I'm just going to show. So he immediately leg kick dive kicks and then hits him in the shoulder and immediately goes for 1, 2, 3, which the Chun-Li could have technically parried, but he decided to be safe. He does one check stand light kick to see what Chun does, and the Chun tried to down parry. And then he went for a setup. Fucked everything up. Jumping medium kick, immediately re-jumps afterward because he couldn't really get anything from it. <clears throat> I mean, he technically could have, but he didn't. Um, he didn't confirm with stand light kick. Uh, Yakun does that a lot. Um, anyway. That was ballsy. He still dies. So as you can see here... What's happening when he's uh, dive kicking? He's showing that he's willing to press buttons, and he's also showing that he's willing to throw. So Chun Li knows that she got hit in a situation where Yun is negative. She got hit just above the shoulder. So this means that she's going to recover before Yun because Yun's like negative five, I believe, and the only thing that he can do is tech a throw. So she is betting on she's betting the house on him trying to throw her and doing forward roundhouse to hit the throw. Ah, yeah, there we go. Off the whiff. My bad. Whiff punish. Dash up lightning legs. And again, she's just going to run away and build meter. <clears throat> he needed to go for a Zempo, was what they were saying, and uh, he just didn't have enough meter to go for it without being overly risky. But he didn't really have a choice because he needed the comeback. He could have run away, but she was mostly to a meter and she could just chase him down. Uh, 
again, jumps in with jump medium kick. Misses a confirm off the leg kick dive kick. Whiff punishes, empty jump. Just gets hit in neutral. Set play, misses the throw. Oh, you fucked up. Should have been stand leg kick. So. He gets a knockdown, right? She parries, and then he immediately jumps forward, parries her standing heavy punch, and then does heavy punch, and he can do stand light kick into up kicks if he wants. Or he can do stand light kick dash punch, and he just tries to go for 1, 2, 3, activate instead. Forward throw, activate. Set play, but he didn't cancel the... Uh, or he, he canceled the recovery of the standing heavy punch which didn't give him enough range for the universal overhead. Parry. Nice combo. Set play. Misses the combo. Carrot throw. SGGK. Dead. So, he's doing the complete opposite of what B-Tran and I did or attempted to do at, against Justin, which was be lame as fuck. He's saying, I don't care if your buttons are better than mine. All I need is one knockdown, and then it's my turn to make you guess. And build meter. And it's working for him. He's up 4-3. But Pearl Rice and Justin and stuff are very different players. Nice dash out. Whiffs. Yun's just going to dive kick in. Jumps away. He jumps in because he doesn't want to spend the meter if he doesn't have to. Leg kick, dive kick, and she tries to walk forward and uh, punish for something. I think she was trying to dash under her, his, uh, his super jump forward. Set play. So, you can guard jump out of this setup. Which is something that uh, I talked about with Frankie, or he showed me, basically. Is that af if you guard jump here, and then you guard jump a second time, because you guard jump the second time in order to block the crouching medium kick if it comes, and then if they go for throw, then you get it, right? You get the jump out. And if they delay their crouching medium kick, you get the jump out. And if they're too far away for the beginning part of the hitbox to hit you, um, then you get out. Throws the throw, activate off the dash punch, set play. Gets thrown out of his Zempo attempt. Set play, set play. Back up, let Young hang himself. Jumps in, so, okay. So he whiffs a light kick, and chun -Li just backs up an inch, and then he neutral jump, medium kicks at this range, or at this height, because he knows that if he tries to throw him afterward, <clears throat> which is a high possibility, or if he tries to parry a dive kick, which it seems like he did, it seemed like he did a uh, parry block, and he hit the button early enough that it let it parry, and now he's whiff punishing the dash punch, or the shoulder, or blah, 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 the throw with dash punch. Set play. The risky thing about the guard jump setup is that uh, if they back fierce instead of, or stand fear, or stand roundhouse instead of crouching medium kick, you can get hit. Get to super.
set play. So I want to see that again. He does walk forward, light kick, or light medium punch, neutral jump, light, neutral jump, light kick, dive kick to hit him right in the shins where he's plus so that he can build meter. That's very, very smart. So Nishikawa is up 5-3. Let's take a look at the next two matches or so, and then I will stop the video. So normally I would be taking notes on all this stuff. Um, and again, uh, something to be wary of is that when you uh, show that you whiff dive kicks enough, your opponent's going to try to check you. So they'll either do forward roundhouse, or they will do far roundhouse, or they will do uh, stand light punch, or crouch light punch. He expected him to try to re-jump after the uh, heavy kick. Crossover. He gets hit. Set play. Tries to jump out. Hazan she hits him. Jump over. So after the uh, standing heavy kick from Chun-Li, like, her close... Uh, roundhouse is negative three so you can technically jump uh, completely out of it on block because on hit it's like on hit it's negative one so that move itself is four f four frames so five frames you could still technically get out maybe I'll test it, and I'll, you know, make a small video on it, and put it on uh, Twitter, I guess. Very nice. He's keeping him cornered by buffering lightning legs into like everything. Now he's just whiff punishing. He almost has meter, and now the Yun has meter. So she tried to reversal him. With it. What did she reversal with? I don't know what she tried to reversal with, but uh, she got hit. So he immediately thinks that she's going to try to move forward or do a stand fierce after his whiffed crouch light punch, so he tries to trade. Because he gets a knockdown off the trade. Jumping uh, target combo is actually really strong. Gets hit for his stupidity. Or a miss input. She doesn't have meter, so he didn't have to worry about that. What the fuck was that? So this is the type of thing that, like... You jump parry, and then you target combo. And then you can Daikai under them. So that's something that, like... I would add to um, the type of thing that I was making. So let's see if I can find the history for it. I have the title spreadsheet. So, journal strategy, I will add another tab. I'll put this as random cool stuff. Why not? So, Yun parries jump X does target combo resets Chun lands forward HP Daikai hits like our opponent control jumped in front of you. So this is interesting. So he gets it, and then immediately super jumps, and does a dive kick, and then walks forward. Chun Li is about to get meter, and she wants to make sure that 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 this dude's in the corner, if she can help it. 
and he's already shown that he's not activating right away. So he could have light kicked, dive kicked, activated, and then walked forward and made her make a guess. But in this situation, he's shown that he wants Chun Li to make a decision. So he walks walks forward and then immediately does the walk back, as the New Yorkers say, and uh, goes for a one two three activate and kills him. I'll do one more game. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I'll finish this. So, again, starts off by jumping forward, decides to not do jumping medium kick this time. So most of the time that he's been doing this, he's been jump forward, dive kick, jump, neutral jump, dive kick, jump forward, medium kick, and then neutral uh, jump forward, empty jump, parry. So he reads it and he gets lightning legs for it. But <clears throat> after he gets knocked away, he knows that he's dashing up because he wants to corner him. So he immediately super jumps and does medium kick, dive kick which catches him right at the lowest point. And even if he parries this, he doesn't have anything that he can do with it. And Yun's technically plus, so he can take a throw if he tries to throw. And that would put him back in neutral. Froze, I guess. There we, there we go. Catches him with a tar uh, combo. Confirm. So he starts here with a neutral jump because Chun Li has meter, and he wants to try to force her to do a. But just by jumping, period, she has to commit to a button if she wants to enter air. So they both neutral jump. And they both whiff buttons. <laughs> Kara throw, Kara throw, SGGK. So he jumps forward and does heavy kick at a weird timing, and then he can block because of how low he was. So this dive kick hits really low. Well, I guess not. It hits him pretty high, but in situations like this, it can be deceptive. So he tries to throw, I guess, um, and he just gets hit. And this is like, if he gets just enough pushback, like there's still there's still ways that he can hit Chun Li with one two three. It's really weird. Um, it, she can't just like down jab you for free, or stand jab in this case. I have a video on this part, the dive kick thing, so you can go check that out yourself. Set play. Set play. Walks forward. Knows that she's, you know, got meter, and he has to make a decision on how to activate. He could have just activated on wake up, but then that forces a guess either way off of uh, his high low, and Chun Li can just parry once and then back throw. And that's not what he wants him to be able to do. So if he's going to risk activating at this point, it makes sense for him to try to connect, because he can do either standing medium kick and then activate that way, or he can do crouching medium kick and activate that way. And he has the same situation where he's plus on uh, block either way, but the crouching medium kick keeps him closer. And he's been showing that he's been willing to do standing medium kick uh, against him a lot. But this is also 10 games into the set total. So this is also very dangerous. So he does forward fierce, heavy punch, jump forward, and then immediately he does uh, medium kick, dive kick to hit him right in the shin, which is easily readable, and Chun Li can just throw afterward when you land, but you can tech. But she can also try and do crouching medium kick depending on where you hit her. So if he didn't hit her in the perfect spot like he did, um, it can be very risky, but even if she, he did hit her in the perfect spot, she can stand roundhouse still and reset him and weigh some of his bar. So it is a risk. But it's also a risk to do light kick, dive kick there because she can whiff punish with crouch, medium kick, super. So pick your poison. 
and there's no real way to get in after a standing heavy punch from that far away. You have to carry a standing heavy punch or carry a standing or crouching medium kick, and both of those are a risk. He's doing a uh, chu, chu kick or close stand medium kick, and then he's forward parrying, and then he's holding forward and going for another one. So he's baiting Chun Li to try to do crouch jab so that he can punish, and Chun Li doesn't really bite. She thinks he's going to do jumping heavy kick or jumping medium kick, parries once, and gets hit by the second hit of the uh, target combo. They're, they're talking about uh, Nishikawa being very random. So in situations like that, where in this exact same situation, well, I'm going to watch it from the beginning, but let's say that I started my match against Justin like this, and I, I managed to get in, he checks with crouch jab, gets his throw, he's going to dash up like he did, probably not do lightning legs, he's probably going to do something else, but at this point I'm cornered, and Justin wants, or Justin or most Chen players are going to want to keep you cornered, so they're going to stay like right under the timer so that you can't do anything. You are forced to make a jump decision. And then they can either air to air you, they can parry you, or they can, you know, try to anti-air you. So he walks back, whiffs crouch medium kick, and as you can see he recovers before the dive kick lands, and he just blocks whatever he does. Set play. What's his choice? Ooh. He read throw for some reason. Oh, what? Okay, so I guess it's next round. Stand fierce. Miss Kara throw. Misses the punish. Misses red parry. Set play. Sempo. Misses the Kara dash punch. So, what does he do here? Misses, does light kick, walk forward, jump forward, light kick, dive kick. Crouching short, short, walk back, standing heavy, jump forward, medium kick, neutral jump, light kick, dive kick, confirms. Okay. I need to test that. So, jump in, X, neutral jump, light kick, dive kick, crush media punch, stand light kick, that's much. SGGK, hit some. Nice confirm. Activation. So he is basically ignoring neutral almost when he's playing this matchup. So he immediately dashes forward, I guess, right? And then he parries. The Chun-Li. No, he does forward, medi forward like uh, medium kick. And that's pretty safe. Uh, it's plus on block, I believe. Forward four. Yeah, forward forward is... Uh, zero on block. So, he can hit you when you try to jump. Anyway, he uh, tries to he tries to parry, and then he tries to immediately throw for some reason instead of letting him land, because he thought he would hit him lower. Yen doesn't do anything. He buffers legs. He immediately jumps in again, goes for a far jump medium kick, which means that because he's hitting him so high, he has to delay his punish. Miam goes for an immediate crushing medium kick and actually gets whiff punished. Now he gets set play. Missed his dive kick. Confirm. Activate. Sempo. 
missed his uh, palm for whatever reason. So this was actually pretty sick. So he does throw, dash up, super jump, so that Ch Chun-Li thinks he's going to do something, and then just blocks his choice and goes for a high that goes over lows at that point. Because he was far enough away after that jab that crouching medium kick would have gone under the standing heavy kick. Ooh, that was sick. Nice confirm. He made him want to jump after the uh, standing heavy punch because he was scared of the universal overhead. And it's safer to jump than to try to parry just in case it doesn't happen. Oops. Sorry. Tries to... Okay, so he tries to standing heavy kick the dive kicks. So even if they parry the dive kick when you are that close, um, they can't always punish. And they have to have really good reactions to be able to see where they're going to... where the, where the dive kicks are going to hit. So this is going to be an interesting setup. So he does jump forward, heavy kick, dive kick, hits him really close. He does crouching, medium punch, and then immediate jump forward, light kick, dive kick, and gets hit. But that would have comboed. Empty jump forward fierce. He messed up uh, his combo. Messed up his combo again. Just keeping him cornered because Chun has no meter. And now that he's close to meter, he's going to back up. He tries to uh, crouching heavy kick another standing fierce after the first one. Or a uh, crouching medium kick from Chun. Very nice. So there's the uh, the way that you deal with guard jump off of the crouching buttons, which is back fierce. So again, neutral, he's trying something new, where he starts by building meter, because he knows that it's a likely chance that he's either going to stay where he is or go back and build meter. And now after he's shown that he's going to whiff buttons, um, he does super jump forward, leg kick, dive kick to whiff in front of him, and he gets Kara thrown. So he did SGGK. So after this, he parries it, and he does jump immediate hev heavy kick. And then he lands and takes a micro step back before Chun-Li can throw him. He puts himself in the corner, which is questionable. Okay, so his setup here is 1, 2, 3, stand light kick, universal overhead. Dive on loop. Sick. Jump in. Chun Li doesn't have meter yet, and she can't punish this dive kick because it hits her low enough. So she can't punish it with crouching medium kick. She can't punish it with standing heavy kick. So it's relatively free, and as you can see here, he immediately throws and goes right back to neutral. So let's rewind that and look at it again. So he's he's at about 55%. So he actually has a lot of uh, skin in the fight if he jumps forward and tries to do something. So by doing slight delay, jump forward, heavy kick, dive kick, if Chun takes a step back, it'll hit her low enough that she can't punish. So she tries for throw and gets just mashes kick. And uh, he missed his crouching medium punch of a dash punch, obviously. So again, he's close to meter, so he's just going to run away and try to build it. Which is why he did the super jump and then light kick dive kick super late because he thought Chun-Li was going to try to air, uh, anti-air him which would hit the top of her standing heavy punch trades and now he doesn't activate immediately because he dashed forward and buffered super so he d dive kicks over him, proximity guard parries gets knocked down, he's going to activate 
which he, re uh, he read Zempo, and he gets hit by the Danger Pressure. And now that he has the corner, he could easily just run away, but it's round two. He has another round to work with, and Chun-Li will need to use Super to kill him. So it's in his benefit to, or risk for ward wise to stay in her face and make her guess. So he whiffs two standing medium punches and then goes for regular throw. One standing medium punch, walks back, stays out of range, tries to catch her walking forward, or stand, standing heavy punching, set play, misses his carrot throw, jumps out. Ichikawa jumps over him with dive kick. Oh, he does the me. So, he does that, he knows his opponent dashes up, and then he whiffs dive kick, puts him in proximity guard, and throws him. Nishikawa, if you'll notice, uses very little 1-2-3. The only time he uses it is when he knows that he's going to have meter. This is his guard jump. Chunli missed her setup. Walked out of range. Kara threw his whiff jump medium kick. Activates immediately out of disrespect, basically, and Chunli just runs away. Goes for Zempo. Gets the setup. It's at play. Whiffs once. And then he makes a decision. He's whiffing once to just make her make a decision. Showing that, you know, I'm going to get one meter and then you're going to, or one little bit of meter, and then you're going to make a decision. And there's no reason for her to quick rise there. So she just stays, stays down. So, let's look at this round again. He has almost no meter and Chun-Li has full bar on his last round. He needs meter now. So this is why he new he super jump neutral jumps to make a reaction to Chun Li because if she dashes he can dive kick at a relative uh, relatively safe timing with medium kick dive kick and hit her low and tech throw and go back to neutral and still be able to build meter. So he jumps back, whisk button, whisk crouching light punch, crouching light kick, tries to get her to commit. And then she does to forward medium kick, goes under the forward medium kick with shoulder, set play. He hits the overhead, I guess. It froze. And whatever happened, it didn't work well for him. Now she's just forcing him to try to get out of the corner. So the way that you start to get out of the corner is by whiffing it away where Chun-Li can only really deal with it with uh, Universal Overhead. Oh, he messed up his combo. He would have killed. And this is also why um, he does Crouching Medium Punch after this, because it's very risky for Chun-Li to go for Red Parry. Because if he doesn't do that and she tries to parry, she, she can just get hit by a crouching light kick into dash punch or a crouching medium kick into dash punch or something or simply get thrown so just opts to build a little bit of meter before he jumps forward to try to contest Chun Li's space. And now he's just whiffing, crouching medium kick, jumps in. After the crouching jab, he immediately jumps out. Um, they're mid screen, so even though back fierce is good, Chun Li's probably not going to go for it. Back throw, set play.
So, this is important. So he gets thrown, he jumps forward, and does light kick, uh, medium kick, dive kick, knows that this is a bad dive kick even on hit. So he jumps back immediately. And then super jumps forward, because Chun-Li has to air-to-air -air him with jumping fierce fierce. Otherwise, it's not really going to do anything. So he can super jump and then parry, and not really need to worry. You know, he can get thrown like, you know, Justin did to me or Justin did to Beatran once or twice. But most Chuns don't go for that option, um, which confuses me. I mean, it can technically be teched if you read it, if you read it, but, you know, it's whatever. He whiffs a button, Chun Li whiffs a confirm. He doesn't want to use his meter because he's way too low. And he has such a far comeback when she has meter. It's just not worth it. So again, starts, immediately super jumps in on him. It makes him guess what timing he's going to do, whatever he is. So he has to jump a second time after his dive kick. So let's take a look at that. Super jump, light kick, dive kick. Immediate jump forward, light kick, dive kick. He's still negative, though, off of that. So it's good patience from uh, Pearl Rice. Nice SGGK. After a forward medium kick from Yun, Chun Li can freely contest with crouch jab or crouch and medium kick or something. So down parrying is probably your best bet. Oh wow, okay, this setup's sick. So he does dash up, down parry, set up, kills frames with down, universal overhead over her, does crouching medium kick, knows that he's not going to get something. And off of crouching medium kick because he can't, he didn't do anything from it. Um, Chun Li's most likely going to try to do a low button to keep him in check, like crouch jab into Kara throw or something, or crouch jab into like back fierce, just to keep him cornered. Um, so he reads the crouch jab, activate. So he activates. He fakes going low short by just hitting down. And then he goes for a close stand heavy punch, crouch, light kick, and a daipon loop. Gets as much meter as he can. Next round. Neutral jumps, because Chun-Li has more meter than he does, and he wants to contest her movement. And if she stays where he is, he can just, you know, neutral jump and build meter on the way down. Or neutral jump and parry her uh, standing heavy punch. Set play. He just ate that for whatever reason. He must have thought that he was going to get thrown. So how does he set this up? So he whiffs. He just does it, spacing-wise. Oh, sick. So what's the setup? Oh, he does the, yeah. Walks forward, and then neutral jump. Medium kick, dive kick. He should have killed him. He wanted to uh, walk forward and throw, I guess. Nishikawa wins. So, what did we get from this? When Chun-Li doesn't have meter, you, you try to contest. When she does have meter, play safer. Play at max distance, where your neutral jump is just outside of her stand fierce range, so she has to walk forward in order to, to do anything. And if she can air to air you, she has to jump. So dive kicking at this range is only good if you see movement from her, or if you're moving yourself first, um, whether as forward or backward to get into a situation where Chun-Li wants to not be. So in this matchup, Chun-Li relatively wants to be under the uh, crouching, or the her own name, or your name, with encroaching medium kick to try to get you, or bait you, to, to jump in. And then it's your job to make decisions on how to best change your jump-in strategy, whether it's uh, show them that you're willing to, you know, light kick, dive kick in their face, or uh, show them that you are you can space your dive kicks to the point where you can hit them low enough where they can't really punish you, or, you know, jump in early light ki or medium kick so that you get in their face and it just gets you close enough that you can make another decision. Um, 
you know, that that's the way that Nishikawa won this, and he won it relatively convincingly. Um, and Pearl, Rouse, Pearl Rice is no slouch in this matchup. I played him a bunch. Um, there's definitely chun -Li's that are better at this matchup, for sure. Um, but, you know, he's, he's very, very strong. And uh, this has been my video on, you know, what to look for when you're looking through your videos. You know, you have to freeze frame at a lot of different timings inside of uh, the last part, which is the uh, neutral spacing and, you know, punishing and all that stuff uh, so that you can properly understand what the, the choices are next. So it's, it's important to know that when you're looking for the set play stuff, that you're going to be looking for the set play stuff a second time when you do the, the, the third or fourth watch through. Well, usually with the spacing stuff, because set play is based off spacing as well. So, but as you'll notice, um, he gave very little respect to his opponent. He just whiffed twice in front of his face, or whiffed once in front of his face, and made him make a guess. So, it seems like, and this is something that I saw watching a Yakun versus uh, Rikimaru first attend, where they definitely are forcing their opponent to make a guess. And playing the rock paper scissors game is how you have to deal with chun li especially when she has no meter you can play super respectful and you know just stay back build meter and go in afterward but she has to be in a position where she can't just run away across the screen when you do that otherwise you're just giving her um too much room to work with to punish you for failed attempts to get in so again First part, I'd go over the double speed stuff, looking for momentum changes and large mistakes. This, and then I also went over some Oki and set play stuff and how I, you know, take notes. So, um, you know, like the life, the meter, if it happens in the corner, what their, you know, their meter is, how did they get the knockdown, what their choice of Oki was. Same thing for Yun, you know, life, how did they get the knockdown? Was it from a Ganesian Ender? Was it from, you know, a dash punch? Was it from, uh, you know, random up kicks or a forward fierce trade with a standing heavy punch with Chun or off of, like, a uh, shoulder into a dash punch or something? And it seems like uh, the choices that this guy makes is a lot different than other Yuns. So I'm probably going to go through uh, more videos over Chun-Li over the next, couple, the next, like, week or so because I think this matchup's, like, super important. So... Hopefully this is helpful.